Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to be talking to you about my favorite apps to use for gig work, side hustles, and everything in between. I'm really excited for this video and just to give you a little backstory, I've uh, created my own moving company over the past five years and it really started with gig work at the beginning, those first two years, super important time for me for growth, um, you know, all things in between as far as that goes making money, getting leads, booking jobs, doing great work for customers, uh, you know, all that compounded into me growing into a full scale moving company. So anyone can do this, anyone can take these steps, uh, whether it's moving company, they just wanna, you know, they wanna start a moving company, maybe they wanna start a junk removal company, service businesses, maybe you just wanna make some money with your pickup truck, like the one I'm sitting in here. And actually, this pickup truck that I'm sitting in here right now is the truck that I started my entire business off of. Um, I wasn't afraid to take jobs. I wasn't afraid to get myself out there. And if you're like that too, I can promise you, you're gonna find success in this. Uh, you can make good side money. You can make it a full-time thing. But with that, I wanna get into the meat and bones of today's videos are my favorite apps to use to get gig work and some of my least favorite apps. So I wanna start with my least favorite apps first and then get into my favorite apps later. So first, uh, my first favorite app is good, or my least favorite app is gonna be GoShare. Um, I used it, I've tried it, it just doesn't work for me and the payout really isn't there. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, if you've heard of GoShare, it is an app where you can get on and accept bids or bid out people or just put in a random quote for a job, maybe get it, maybe not. Uh, in my opinion, it's a lot of low ball offers. Uh, there's even like moving houses on there, which I didn't know. So you could actually like put a quote for a flat rate. Uh, you wanna avoid flat rate moving as much as you can, especially in the beginning and even in the maturity of my business, uh, it still is hard to do successfully can be done you can be a flat rater in this industry but uh, we just want to be talking about just delivering items um, you know back and forth around the area so go share it's not a great payout it's really based off of you know availability uh, scheduling and you know the best price it's very price heavy people just are looking for the lowest price you can find some good jobs on there here and there but it does take a while it's not as immediate from quoting to booking which when you're starting off you want to get jobs next day same day get the ball rolling and get that momentum next is going to be roadie uh, i used roadie and literally did not get one accepted quote one accepted delivery ever i literally would hit quote and then it would go so i don't know if it's a bug in the system or i'm not doing something right but i want to touch on roadie just a little bit um, not a huge fan on it so those are the only two i'm going to talk about as my least favorite now let's kind of go into some that i do like and i do enjoy number one on the list for me if you're getting started is going to be thumbtack uh, there's some pros and cons of thumbtacks let's talk about the cons real quick they just rolled out a new uh, system or a new kind of algorithm that they're implementing which is instant booking now everyone who gets on thumbtack as a pro has to sign up for instant booking they have to be available for instant booking the pro to that is you do get instant booking jobs now the two cons on that are one customers might, might not actually have wanted to have instant they might not have actually wanted to book with you for that service. They might not have wanted the instant booking. They're really just looking for a quote and it's kind of on accident because it's not very clear for the user standpoint on what they're actually doing. Number two, it's very expensive. The instant bookings are extremely, extremely expensive. It's double, sometimes even triple the cost of just getting a regular quote. Now, yes, you're, you're not having to sell, you're not having to do this, that, or the other, but three times is crazy, especially when you're starting off. You can't be spending $100 on a lead when that lead might only bring you in $300. They're making more money than you are just by the quote, which is crazy. So pros and cons of Thumbtack, um, back in the day when I first started, leads were like seven to $15. That was great. I was booking jobs left, right. Furniture pickups, little jobs here and there. I was making, you know, from like three to $10,000 a week. Now the range is big because it depends on how much I was working that week. I was still in school. 
So Thumbtack um, is definitely one of my favorites. I have currently a 4.5 rating with over 500 reviews. So just to show like my, you know, credibility with that is my next favorite app is going to be Nextdoor. I think it's really useful for service-based businesses. That's why I wanted to talk about this one specifically. For moving, it might not be the best as far as like gig work goes, but I wanted to add it in there for cleaners, roofers, junk removal, trash, anything that's service business going into people's home. Uh, or if you're like me when I started, I was just down to do whatever. Uh, it didn't matter if it was moving, junk removal, cleaning someone's garage, I was just w really willing to do whatever it took. So if you're able to build a little profile on Nextdoor and really show yourself as you know a guy who's just really willing to do whatever, maybe they're just needing to hustle, things like that, you could get some success with Nextdoor. And it is a flat monthly fee. You can adjust the budget as much or as little as you want. So definitely would recommend that one. If you haven't checked it out, check out Nextdoor as well. And then the third is just gonna be posting ads on Craigslist. I think it's the most effective and it gets the ball rolling. That's what this whole gig work is about, is you're not looking for jobs two weeks out, three weeks out. You're looking for jobs next day, same day, and a couple of days out. I understand how it goes when you're starting out. You just wanna get busy and get work and make money. You wanna get the ball rolling. So Craigslist is still super effective. You can post on there, a guy with a truck, guy with a trailer. Um, you know, This is how much I charge for a pickup truck and a dolly. This is how much I charge for two people and a dolly. And yes, you're gonna get cheaper people, but I've actually had just fine people on there. I think people just go to what they know, not as much, you know, hey, I'm gonna go download Thumbtack to find a mover. Maybe they don't have the time to do that or they don't even know what Thumbtack is. Craigslist, it's a known website. It's known where people are on, things of that nature. Once you get past gig work, I'm gonna add this in as a little extra bonus for you guys. Once you move past gig work and you're really trying to like implement like a real business, local service ads by Google is definitely the most effective for my business personally. Uh, like I said, it's where people go to look, Google, is where people go to look for movers 95% of the time. Even if they're going to, to an app, they might be using Google to get that app. So um, I use local service ads. It is extremely expensive, but it does get you top ranked on the top of Google, um, you know, just if you're willing to spend the money. So uh, even if you don't spend a ton of money a month or a week on it, it still can be effective for you and for your business at any time. And you can just use it like a faucet, turn it on when you need it, turn it off when you don't. So those are my kind of overview of what apps I like to use personally. If you guys have any questions, comments below, anything about gig work, I'd be glad to help. I have scaled my business literally from zero dollars to this year we're going to be closing off a little over two million dollars a year running a couple of moving trucks in a literally 60 mile radius so it's possible the works out there in whatever city you're in you can scale a moving company you can do gig work it's all out there for you to take i promise you that if you guys want my help or anything like that don't charge anything. I'm glad to answer any questions you might have. I literally ask for nothing in return. Just share the video, subscribe, let me know what you think of the video.